refrigeration engineers like them requires having a good knowledge of air conditioning system. Chiller system, which use chilled water to provide air conditioning to buildings, like this one, is a carrier centrifugal chiller. The chiller is used to chill water, sending that chilled water at 45 degrees to the air conditioning unit. The air conditioning unit thus uses that chilled water to cool the space. The chiller is divided into two sides. One side is used to chill water at about 45 degrees, sends that water out to the air conditioning unit. After picking up heat, the water returns. The other side of the chiller is called the condensing section. It removes the heat that the chiller has picked up or brought back from the air conditioning unit. Sends that water out to a cooling tower that removes that heat to the surrounding. Cooling that water then recirculates it again to pick up more heat and that process continues. It also requires having a good knowledge of the connecting pieces of the chiller. The evaporator, which has the chilled water, which is also supported by the chilled water pump, and of course the units that this water is pumped to as it returns. And then you have the condenser, which is supported by the condenser pump, the cooling tower, as the water circulates through the pump to the cooling tower and return once again. Here's a look at one of the air conditioning systems that uses the chill water to provide cooling to the space. What you're looking at here is a large commercial air conditioning unit. Here we have the motor that's used to turn the blower, which is responsible for air circulation. Right behind me here is the coil, the cooling coil. Water circulates through this cooling coil here. As the air flows across the cooling coil, because the water temperature is about 45 degrees, the air temperature at about 75 degrees or so drops, and you have cooler air going back to the space. This way the chilled water is used to lower the air and provide cooling to the space. The air condition continues to circulate, pulling the hot air from the space across the cooling coil that's cooling it and sending it back again. The chilled water is chilled to about 45 degrees, leaves enter the air conditioning system, used to cool the space, picks up heat, returns back to the chiller, and the process continues. In this process, though, of circulating this chilled water is done by using the chilled water pump. Here's a look at what a chilled water pump might look like in one of New York City's buildings. It's a pump that's used to circulate that chilled water to the air conditioned unit to provide cooling. This is the motor, that's the pump, the Y strainer that you see there catches dirt, filth, but it also helps us to indicate the flow of the chilled water. The flow comes this direction from the air conditioning unit through the pump to the chiller and the cycle continues. This way we have chilled water going back to the unit once again at 45 degrees picking up heat, the pump pulls it back and back to the chiller and that's the cycle. A few test related air conditioning questions that was asked on the chilled water pump was how would you know that this is a chilled water pump? Well, one of the best ways is the line. The fact that the lines are insulated helps us to know clearly that it's a chilled water pump. The water temperature being below ambient temperature, the line will begin to sweat. So for this reason, we insulate the line. And this indicates to us that it has to be chill water that's in the line. Another great question 
that sometimes will ask on the chill water pump was, which way is the chill water flowing? Well, of course, the Y strainer, as you see there, is a great indicator. It helps us to see that the chill water is flowing this way, catching whatever debris, continues to the pump, and going back to the chill. As the water leaves the condenser, it enters the condenser water pump. Here's a look at what a condenser water pump might look like in one of the buildings in New York City. The other side of the chiller, which is used to remove the heat that's picked up by the chilled water, is the condenser section. This right here is the condenser pump. Once again, we have our wide strainer to remove the breeze that is caught inside the line. The condenser water comes down from our cooling tower through the strainer, goes through the pump, and of course gets sent to the condenser side of the chiller. So once again, the cup heat. The cycle continues to remove heat from the condenser. A few questions that sometimes asked on the condenser water pump is, how do you know that this is a condenser water pump? So of course, the fact that the lines are not insulated is a good indicator. The condenser water is usually above ambient temperature. No need to worry about sweat accumulating, so normally the lines are not insulated. Again, the question is sometimes asked, how do you know the flow, or to indicate the flow of the condenser water going through the condenser water pump? Once again, our Y strainer gives it away. It helps us to see that flow comes this way, and the breeze caught in the wide stream.